Hi everyone, it's David. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for coming back. Um, well, it's another rainy day in Osaka. <laughs> rainy season is still here. Uh, so it's yeah, not very nice to go outside. I did take a little walk around the park with my umbrella, but um, yeah, <laughs> it's not the best. Not the best weather. And because of coronavirus, the uh, state of emergency is still uh, in effect in Osaka and a lot of other places. Uh, it's not too bad, it's getting better, but we have to still wait for a few more weeks. Um, so it's a bit difficult to make some videos, but I'm trying, I'm really trying. So please, uh, please <laughs> keep supporting this channel. Maybe when it's sunny, I can go somewhere nice. Uh, what can I say today? Um, yeah, before we start, I'll do the usual YouTuber thing. So please subscribe, subscribe, do it now, please. I really hope you can, because I'm trying to get the numbers up. Um, we've been going up from 110 to 111, to 112, and then back down again, and it's a bit of a roller coaster. So please do it now. Please like this channel. I, I talked about the algorithm. Um, I don't want to get too into the weeds about it, but YouTube works on kind of automatic system and it recommends popular videos. So the more you press like or comment, uh, then the more other people can see it kind of by random. So um, yeah, please do that. And that's going to help me. I'm going to break through. I'm going to become a viral sensation. So please help me, help me. Um, right, so I was thinking what to do for this video. Um, last, or two weeks ago, I think I did a reaction video, my first one reacting to a Western video about strange or unusual things in Japan. I thought it might be interesting to see the other way. So uh, Japan or Japanese person's uh, surprising points about the UK. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I found a video by uh, somebody who lives in the UK now, I think. Um, her name is Kanako. I hope that's right. Um, and uh, I found her video, it seemed quite interesting, so I want to give my little reaction to it. So, let's take a look. Hope you enjoy. Okay, let's go. Wow. Okay, I'm going to start the video now. Um, Kanako-san, she speaks in uh, Japanese, and my Japanese is okay, but not so great. So, um, I'm going to use the uh, subtitles. I'm using automatic subtitles, so if you see them on the screen, um, they're, not, they're not perfect. This is kind of computer-generated ones from from the Japanese subtitles, so I'll try my best to interpret them. Okay, so let's uh, let's try it. It's a cute channel. <laughs> I like this um, mustache, <laughs> mustache with disguise, giving me kind of Wario vibes. <laughs> so she's been living here for a while, so she wants to show the yeah top ten differences in the. Uh, daily life. I'm, I'm interested to see what she's uh, going to come up with. Okay, so she wants you to subscribe. Me too. Okay. Um, there are lots of kids. Okay, that's the first point. Lots of elderly people, but there's also a lot of uh, young people. Yeah, Japan has a bit of trouble with uh, kind of depopulation or uh, aging population now. Okay. What was a big difference then? 17% like of the population are kids. What are they saying there? Medical expenses are free. Education is free until, yeah, until like 16. Oh, it's 18, sorry. Yeah. There are some countries where uh, it's free, even university, I think like Denmark maybe. But 18 is still good. What's it like in Japan then? Okay, so they're saying it's easy to bring up kids, so there are more kids. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, I come from quite a large family. Um, I've got five sisters and a brother, so I've uh, got a shout out to them now. <laughs> I guess that proves her point. Mango pit. These subtitles are a bit strange. Mm. There used to be a saying like 2.4 children in each family, like average. But I'm not sure if that's true now. Okay, you can drink tap water. Okay, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> ah, so that's true, I never really drink the tap water in Japan. 
Yeah, I think a lot of people drink tap water in, in the UK. It's, of course it's safe. It's safe in Japan too, but... Um, it's a bit different though. Oh, she likes it. She said it's delicious, I think. Mm. Well, we put fluorine in the water as well. It helps with like gum, gum disease. But in Japan, I think they don't do that. Um, mm. I think they put like chlorine in, in the water here a little bit. Or lime scale. Yeah, we have that too. <laughs> I talk about the uh, gardens. I think that's going to be a big difference, yeah. Or back gardens. Yeah, a lot of a lot of houses have back gardens or f even front gardens too in in England, but in the UK, I'll say. Mm. You do have to take care of it, though. <laughs> it's easy to make a mistake. British people like gardening a lot. Yeah, I was not a fan really. But people have a lot of pride. Yeah, green, green, green grass. Yeah, but Japan has a lot of mountains, so you don't really get that green area so much. So it's wild animals. A lot of wild animals. Yeah, that's true. I guess they have green spaces in Japan, but um, there's a lot of parks in England and green spaces. So squirrels. Yeah, of swans. Yeah, see, see lots of birds. At university, the like the my house kind of backed onto a small forest, so we saw things like foxes and badgers, hedgehogs. They sometimes come and open their trash bags. So. Yeah, you can get close to them. My mum always complained about the um, squirrels. <laughs> Digging up the plants or burying things. So, it's cute, I think they're cute. <laughs> you see wild ferrets in Japan though, I used to see them kind of running around thinking, there's that a rat? But it's, it's really like a long ferret thing. I was kind of surprised. Some hedgehogs, that's good. I like hedgehogs. But they always appear sort of at night. I accidentally kicked one really hard by mistake. It was just, it was a really dark path, I couldn't see it. And I, I realized just before I hit him, he was fine though, he rolled up, he was, he was okay. <laughs> this translation is a bit strange. Car driving is rough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fine. I, I live in Osaka, I mean, it's a big city. Actually, it's quite expensive to have a car. There's, there's not space to keep it. You have to pay for parking space and everything. So I think there aren't many, that many drivers, I guess. I have a wider road, so we drive faster. You change your what? <laughs> this auto translation is uh, a bit crazy. Yeah, there's a lot of bad drivers in England. It's just not totally crazy. It's not like, uh, I don't know, crazy Indian driving I've seen on, on YouTube. I'm not going to sing like Indian people, of course. Lots of different countries. Okay, the floor plan of houses. Yeah, Japanese houses are quite small, comparatively smaller. So that's why we don't get the back garden usually. Okay, so there's a toilet near the entrance. Okay, is that different? My apartment is quite close. Yeah, I suppose that's, I suppose that's true. Yeah, it's good for an emergency. <laughs> emergency tea, I think that's a translation <laughs> mistake. A washing machine in the kitchen. See, I don't think this is strange at all, because <laughs> I'm British, but... Yeah, my washing machine now is kind of next to the bathroom. It's near the near the drainage. But in England, we often put them together. Or oh, if you're fancy, you get like a utility room.
bathroom on the second second floor too. Yeah, everyone's obsessed with having lots of bathrooms in the houses now. I don't know. Well, I just live by myself, so I don't care. Carpet in the bathroom, yeah. <laughs> I have some friends from like continental Europe, like Spain. Uh, um, they think that's so crazy having carpet. <laughs> What's this? Well, climate. Okay, yeah, that's a big difference. I'm feeling that today. Uh, yeah. London is quite almost level with uh, Hokkaido, actually, but. So the winter is about the same, but the uh, summer is a lot cooler than um, Tokyo or Osaka. It's very humid as well. Mm. Don't know what's going on there. It gets dry in. Yeah, it's quite dry in the UK. And you have to moisturize, you have to think about that. I'm very oily now. <laughs> Self basting. Talking about the ecosystem now. What's that going to be? What are they? A pig? <laughs> is, that, is that mosquito? I don't have so many. Well, it's especially south, it's not that hot, so we don't get many mosquitoes. Oh, we don't get the. How do you say? Cicadas? 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 The bugs? The hachi. Oh, <laughs> bees, yeah. And yeah, we do have a lot of bees actually. I didn't realise we don't see them in Japan really. There's lots of flowers in Japan, I don't know why not. <laughs> so if there's a bee in the house, you get rid of it, another one comes in. So yeah, we don't really have air conditioners that much, so usually you just keep the window open, that's enough. So bugs will come in too. So apart from bees... Ah, spiders. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not into that. <laughs> Why is it all pixelated? It's like a criminal. There are people with strangely thin and long legs. Because of its name, there was a big guy with thick legs. What's that? Oh, is that daddy long legs? Yeah, then they're, they're, they're not as bad as spiders, but they kind of like dance around a lot. So daddy long legs. Whales is esoteric I'm not sure what esoteric means okay so here's the uk yeah four regions please please study this so wales is the green one on that, that one and they have their own language yep so welsh language or well, scotland too and maybe i think northern ireland they have their own uh, languages too when you go to wales road signs are written in welsh and english yeah so all the road signs are kind of bilingual there. Um, yeah. The text is strange. Yeah, I don't know anything about Welsh language. It's really different. Oh yeah, okay, you can see on there. You can see both English and Welsh. Oh, <laughs> that's confusing, Welsh and English. <laughs> Just depends where you are. Yeah, I, d I wouldn't know how to pronounce it at all. It's too many, too many vowels, uh, too many consonants, I think. Yeah. So, must be confusing for foreigners who visit. And English people. Oh yeah, this <laughs> this sign, this is the longest place name in, in the UK. Landfair put... No, I'm not going to try. Yep, it's good, good to keep your culture. They had a big kind of push to protect the Welsh language, so... I'm glad that's uh, succeeding. Oh, she likes it. It's number two. Sloppy things. It doesn't sound good for us. <laughs> She's gonna slam us. Everything is sloppy, right? <laughs> On the train. Ah, okay, the train will not come according to the timetable. And the bus. Yeah. Uh, and the bus might come early as well. Yeah, this does not happen in Japan. Uh, it might be delayed a little bit, but they they'll try to keep the schedule as much as possible. Uh, order something online is wrong time too. Yeah, you have to order time slots, but yeah, we're not very reliable f for uh, for those kind of things. Expiration dates on food as well. Okay, 
It's rare, but something goes smoothly with everyday tea. Okay, she's not a fan. So, sorry. Please take care if you um, if you come to the UK. Don't don't trust the timetables. It's full of sloppy things. Oh no. Japan may be too tight, so I have a star. No, it's good. It's good. Just the consumption tax. Like we say the VAT in England, so like value added tax. 20%, yeah, it's, it went up, yeah, oh, it's about 10 years ago, it went up to 20%. Oh, VAT, there we go. So we call consumption tax in, in Japan. Here it's 10%. It went up from 8% before. But in England, it's uh, in the UK, it's 20%. It used to be. 17.5%, so we didn't bring it down again. So yeah, lots of items, you have to pay 20%. But yeah, there's duty-free stuff, um, and some that are on a lower rate, so like baby, baby chairs, gas propane tanks, tax-free stuff too, yes, yeah, stamps, what's that, mm, antiques. <laughs> It's interesting, like uh, what we call the essential things for daily life, uh, like bread and milk, they don't get, I don't think they have VAT. Um, I think cake is VAT free, but biscuits aren't. <laughs> one of them is a luxury and one of them isn't. Both sound like luxuries to me, but... Hmm. So as long as we're using it for something useful, that's good. We use it for medical care, yeah, we have the uh, NHS, the National Health Service, and uh, yeah, education, something else, yeah, so if we use it, just be grateful we're not in Norway. Okay, welcome back, um, I hope you enjoyed that video, uh, it, was, it was quite interesting, I, I kind of forget the differences now, I've been here a bit too long, so it's interesting to hear Japanese perspective of um, unusual things in Japan or surprising things. So thank you very much to uh, Kanako-san. Her channel is called Dunno Anything. Uh, I'll put a link in the description so you can check out her videos again. Uh, I know I have a lot of Japanese viewers, so well, a lot. I have some Japanese viewers, <laughs> so please check out her channel. Um, I'm sure she would appreciate that. And uh, please subscribe and my channel too, please. So let's try. Uh, yeah, okay, there are some interesting things in Japan. Um, in UK, I think, must be strange for foreign people. I was a bit sad about the sloppy timekeeping. I, I totally agree with it though, uh, so we need to yeah, up our game a little bit. Uh, okay, but thank you very much for watching. Uh, please leave some comments. I really want to see your comments. I was, um, yeah, I always ask for it, but I never see any. <laughs> so please do that today. Comment on one video at least. Please make that your mission. I'll be so happy. And please like the channel, uh, like the, um, the video too. Uh, share it to all your friends. Make this a viral sensation. Um, <laughs> then if I can up the budget a bit, then I can, uh, I can show you something more interesting than uh, just my face. Okay, thank you very much. So take care, wear a mask, wash your hands. Um, don't eat yellow snow. And uh, see you next video. Thank you, bye.